So in the previous screencast, we calculated a return, and the, this value was generated by the daily observations of the S&P uh, price index level. And that was dragged all the way down. And for the first cell, um, the variance was calculated purely by taking the square of the return in the previous day. For the second cell, uh, we'll use uh, the GART uh, construction. And we would like to set up the GART, uh, the variance as being a product of uh, long-term term variance, previous day's return squared, previous day's uh, variance. Um, to see this, how we might construct it, um, purely for convenience, we'll freeze the panes and we'll scroll down, all the way down. And, and we looked at, at these parameter inputs here. In fact, we should change this to alpha and change this to beta see why in a moment and these estimates here are just purely trial estimates uh, that we initially input in okay so to calculate uh, the garch we'll set out the following we'll say equal to and uh, the long-term uh, variance and we'll f for that just to lock the cell reference and then in turn, we'll say plus um, alpha. And again, lock the cell reference by hitting a 4, multiplied by uh, the previous day's return, uh, which is squared. So multiply by C4. So actually C5 multiplied by C5 again, uh, where, if you like, squaring the return, plus uh, beta F4 multiplied by uh, the previous day's uh, variance and return. And we pull these values down, all the way down. And then we estimate um, the log likelihood, which involves uh, using the structure here. So we take a negative natural logarithm. We open brackets and we say V is the variance. And then we subtract away uh, the return squared. So open brackets again, we take the return, we put it to the power of 2, we close brackets, we divide by uh, the variance, and hit return. And then we pull or drag the cell all the way down, and by, uh, interestingly, by freezing the panes, uh, we can do this very quickly. And down here, we have the sum of all the values uh, in the cells. Um, so we basically have uh, the uh, log likelihood. And that value uh, we want to maximize. And if we maximize it, uh, we we um, maximize uh, by using these values here. Okay, uh, to run uh, the maximum likelihood estimation, we go into data, go to solver. We want to set the cell here, the objective, uh, to a maximum by changing these cells here and we don't impose initially